Hello, I'm Mayor Phil Good with your weekly update. Last week, the city experienced a significant underground effluent water line break between Watson Lake and the Phippen Roundabout. Traffic is being diverted to the old SR-89 going around the damaged roadway. According to Janet Ramsey, the Deputy Director of Public Works, drivers should avoid the area completely if possible. She stated repairs will be ongoing for the next two weeks at least, so please avoid the area by using Willow Creek Road via Pioneer Parkway or Willow Lake Road as an alternate. This water line is used for treated effluent, so the leak has been reported to the Arizona Department of Environmental Quality, ADEQ, but we do not expect this partially treated water to be a significant health concern. Since this effluent is being used for irrigation on our city golf courses, dust reduction on construction sites, and other non-potable uses. The broken pipe was installed in 1987. It was a steel cylinder type wrapped and encased in mortar, which meant it's subject to rust. Pressure from rocks and boulders can break through and cause leaks, which is apparently this case in this situation. This break has also caused serious pavement damage, lifting a significant roadway section by about two to three inches. Once the pipe is repaired, the asphalt repairs will take place, removing the lifted portion, repairing the subgrade, and recompacting with dry material. This area of the road is part of the city's capital improvement projects already planned and budgeted for. The project design will take place in fiscal year 25, and construction will begin in fiscal year 2026. Regarding water, the annual drinking water quality report for reporting year 2023, a comprehensive report issued by the City of Prescott Water Operations Division, is now available for download. During 2023, water from the city's system met all applicable federal and state drinking water health standards. There are several capital projects underway in the City of Prescott to be aware of. The Solid Waste Division is working on an infrastructure improvement project to enhance overall operations and customer experiences at the City's transfer station. This includes a variety of changes. Road widening on Sundog Ranch Road aims to alleviate congestion and improve traffic flow. Rerouting traffic through a different gate will help manage customer access during construction. Relocating the fee booth and scales will optimize the layout for long-term benefits. Please expect temporary inconveniences such as traffic delays, rough road conditions, and lane restrictions. The recycling blue dumpsters will be temporarily inaccessible in order to streamline traffic flow during this construction phase. Prescott remains dedicated to recycling. For additional details, the recycling website is linked below. The city appreciates residents' patience and understanding during this necessary process. Construction for the State Route 69 widening project adjacent to Frontier Village finally begins this week after 11 years of stop-and-go planning and budgeting. The $9.8 million project, which is being done by the Arizona Department of Transportation, ADOT, in partnership with the Central Yavapai Metropolitan Planning Organization, SIMPO, will construct one additional travel lane in each direction on SR-69 between Prescott Lakes Parkway and the Yavapai Connector, milepost 294 to 295. This will widen the highway from four to six lanes and include a raised median. According to ADOT, daytime work will take place from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m., Monday through Friday. Two travel lanes will be maintained in each direction during daytime hours. Nighttime work will take place from 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. Sunday through Wednesday nights. Traffic will be narrowed to one lane in each direction and an 11-foot vehicle width restriction will be in place with a 35 mile an hour speed limit. Restrictions are not anticipated during weekends or state holidays. During tomorrow's City Council Executive Session, we'll discuss and consult with our attorneys regarding a possible resolution to pending litigation with manufacturers of PFAs 
and PFOS chemicals. We'll also receive legal advice relating to the current language of portions of the city code. Finally, we'll have an update on negotiations related to possible amendments to the purchase agreement and redevelopment of the old city hall, including extending the purchase closing date. We may adjourn afterwards to an open public meeting to discuss and possibly approve an amendment to the contract with Territory Holdings, LLC. In the study session at 1 p.m., we'll have a presentation and discussion regarding utility and non-utility development impact fees. During the voting meeting at 3 p.m., we'll consider several road projects and grants. We will also consider speed limit increases on Hacienda Village Lane and Williamson Valley Road from 35 miles per hour to 40 miles per hour. Please remember the Prescott City Council will have a reduced summer schedule during the months of July and August. Our next council meeting will be on August 13th. Council will resume the normal cycle of meetings twice a month starting in September. All city operations will continue as scheduled, and all city meetings and agendas are linked below. Other meetings this week include the Preservation Commission, which will have a regular meeting this Friday, July 12th at 9 a.m. in the Council Chambers, to hear an update on the plans for the Assembly at Old City Hall Redevelopment Project. The proposed project has spaces for retail and restaurants on the main level with upper levels consisting of a hotel with 109 guest rooms and conference meeting space. The Commission reviewed this project in a study session on May 10th. Then in a regular meeting on June 14th, no action was taken at either meeting, but public comment was received as well as some direction from Commission members. This week's July 12th meeting will be a study session where the Commission will receive an update from the developers on their redesign of the project. No vote will be taken for this meeting. Citizens and members of the public are welcome to attend this and all public meetings in person. The meeting can also be viewed on the City's Facebook page and YouTube channel and on the public access channel through Sparklight. I'm Mayor Phil Good, and I'll update you again next week. I hope you had a great Independence Day this past July 4th. Thanks for watching.